you can say, but you can learn how to play the game. It's easy. Just fantastic. What a wonderful way to begin. Thank you, Simons Valley Worship Choir. We are not used to hearing you sing the Beatles. I agree. Good afternoon and welcome to Simons Valley United Church, your church at the center of the community. My name is Bob Dunn. And I'm Kay Dunn. And, and we, we will, will be your MCs for this, for this afternoon's, afternoon's talent show. Well, I think you'd all agree, if the first number is an indication of what's to come, I can say we're in for a real treat. Are you talking about the cookies, Bob? Or uh, the entertainment? Play on! Who is that guy? Did that go okay? Who is that guy? You must think he's Shakespeare. However, in the great word of the bard, play on. Thank you. 
Thank you, Nasser and Marsha, for taking us back in time to the music of Haydn. Bob, did you know that some people feel that Haydn belonged to a bygone era that valued restraint, gracefulness, and charm above angst, overt emotion, and obsession with insight and depth? Uh, no, I didn't <laughs> know that. It appears that you've been talking with Melanie and Donna. Those two know some very unusual facts about music. Speaking of Melanie and Donna, we are going to hear from Melanie, Cindy, and Donna. If you're interested in any more fun facts about Rossini opera or American female composers, feel free to find Melanie or Donna for a chat over cookies at intermission. Cookies and conversation, Donna and Melanie. Do we know who's in charge of making sure those two get back after coffee break? Vicki, would you make sure they get back here? Thank you. One thing you could say is the lyrics aren't too large to memorize. It's 
so great to have you all here this afternoon. I am going to play a piece um, called Dreaming, and it was written by Amy Marcy Beach in the late 1800s, one of the first female composers to actually be published out of the States.
Strange things are done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night on the marge of Lake Labarge that I cremated Sam McGee. Now Sam McGee was from Tennessee, from the land. Now Sam McGee was from Tennessee, where the cotton blooms and blows. Why he left his home in the south to roam around the pole, no one knows. He was always cold, but the land of gold always seemed to hold him like a spell. Though he'd often say in his homely way that he'd sooner live in hell. On a Christmas day, we were mushing our way across the Dawson Trail. Talk of the cold, through the parka's fold, it stabbed like a driven nail. Our eyes we'd close, and they sometimes froze till we couldn't see. It wasn't much fun, but the only one to whimper was Sam McGee. And that very night, as we lay packed tight, beneath our robes, beneath the snow, the dogs were all fed, and the stars overhead danced heel and toe. He turns to me, Cap, says he, I'll cash in this trip, I guess. And if I do, I'm asking that you won't refuse my last request. Well, he seemed so low, I couldn't say no. And he says with a sort of moan, it's that cursed cold that gets right hold till I'm chilled clean through to the bone. And I want you to swear, though foul or fair, that you'll cremate my last remains. Well, Appel's last need is a thing to heed. And I swore I would not fail. And we started on at the streak of dawn, and God, he was ghastly pale. He crouched on the sleigh, and he raved all day of his home in Tennessee. And by nightfall, a corpse was all that was left of Sam McGee. There wasn't a breath in that land of death, and I hurried on, horror-driven, with a corpse half hid that I couldn't get rid because of a promise given. It was lashed to the sleigh, and it seemed to say, you may tax your brawn and brains, but you promise true, and it's up to you to cremate those last remains. Now, a promise made is a debt unpaid, and the trail has its own stern code. In the days to come, though my lips were dumb, in my heart, how I cursed that load. In the long, long night, by the lonely firelight, with the huskies all round in a ring, they howled out their woes to the lonely snows, God, I loathe that thing. And every day, that quiet clay seemed to heavier and heavier grow. And on I went, though the dogs were spent and the grub was getting low. The trail was bad and I felt half mad, but I swore I would not give in. I'd often sing to that hateful thing, and it hearkened with a grin. Till I came to the marge of Lake Labarge, and a derelict there lay, it was jammed in the ice, and I saw in a thrice, it was called the Alice May. I looked at it, and I thought for a bit, then I looked at my frozen chum. And then here, says I, is my crematorium. Some boards I tore from that cabin floor, and I lit that boiler fire. Some coal I found that was lying around, and I heaped that fuel higher. The flames soared, and the furnace roared. Such a blaze you seldom see. I burrowed a hole in that glowing coal, and I stuffed in Sam McGee. And then I went for a hike, for I didn't like to hear him sizzle so. The heavens scowled, and the huskies howled, and the winds began to blow. It was icy cold, and the hot sweat rolled down my cheek, and I don't know why. And the smoke with its greasy cloak went streaking down the sky. I do not know how long in the snow I wrestled with my grisly fear, but the stars came out and danced about. Here I again ventured near. I was filled with dread, but I bravely said, I think I'll take a peep inside. I think he's cooked, and this time I looked, and the door I opened wide. And there sat Sam, looking cool and calm amidst that furnace roar. He wore a smile that you could see a mile, and he said, please close that door. 
it's fine in here, and I greatly fear that you'll let in the cold and storm. Since I left Plumtree down in Tennessee, it's the first time I've been warm. Strange things are done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. And the queerest sights that the Northern Lights ever did see was that night on the marge of Lake LaBarge that I cremated Sam McGee. that guy again. I got to admit though, he is correct in one way. We've had both beautiful music and cats. And after Jay's recitation, you definitely won't be able to convince him to take a trip to Lac La Barge. Thank you, Jay. That was great. Yes, we definitely have an abundance of talent here at Simons Valley United Church. Hopefully, our resident bard will give us a chance to enjoy the next few ensembles. It's great to see so many people here we know, not only joining their talents with other members, but for bringing family and friends along too. Uh, hi everyone, I sing this traditional song from Iran for my sisters in Iran whose voices have been silenced by the regime. I, the meaning of the words, I drink to be drunk, it is not enough to make my sadness go away. First song by Haide when she moved to the state. Mastiam dal de mano, ti queda bon e mi cone. Cambo man zo de sode, mano rajo e mi cone. Mano rajo.
آخه من غریب هستم با همه یکی آشنا میاد به چشم من ولی از بخت بدم
Should have seen it in your eyes I could never read those eyes So lost in love was I They'd always take me by surprise You were dreaming of the Southland How your love it comes and goes It's just like the weather, dear Only heaven really knows Just like springtime in Alberta Warm sunny days and endless skies of blue Then without a warning Another winter storm comes raging through And the mercury's falling I'm left alone Springtime in Kills me to the bone. I can see the storm clouds coming. Lord, they're dark across the sky. The same look that I've seen so many times when I look into your eyes. So I pull up my old collar. Pull my hat way down low The wind's getting colder now Dropping down to near zero Just like springtime in Alberta Warm sunny days and endless skies of blue Then without a warning storm comes raging through and the mercury's falling I'm left all alone springtime in Alberta chills me to the bone springtime in Alberta Kills me to the bone. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to become a legend in your own life. <laughs> going a little further west now. It's the Kettle Valley Railroad, my son, the Kettle Valley Line. From Hope through to Princeton, Penticton, past trail, to the Crow's Nest on out to the plain. A few years ago now, when I was a boy, I remember so vividly well. A still mountain lake rimmed with swamp grass and dew, and a soft hue when cool darkness fell. <laughs> Beside the still water of the seal raisin ties, an old water tower stood by. When I asked my father, what is this I see? He turned and he said with a smile, it's a kettle valley and railroad, my son, the kettle valley line. From Hope through to Princeton, Penticton, past trail, to the crow's nest on out to the plain. From off in the distance, so faintly I heard the wail of an old Loki song. Closer and closer it echoed and rang 
through the peace that had lingered so long. Then all at once came a bright pencil beam that pierced through the still mountain night. That old faithful workhorse of black steel and fire came rolling along into sight. It's the Kettle Valley Railroad, my son, the Kettle Valley Line. From Hope through to Princeton, Penticton, past trail, to the crow's nest on out to the plain. A cool drink of water is all that she needs, and then she must be on her way. There are 66 people who trust in her well to take them to lands far away. With a hot burst of steam and a heave and a groan, she ventured on into the night. Her cry of farewell echoed soft through the trees, a memory so dear in my life. It's a Kettle Valley Railroad, my son, the Kettle Valley Line. From Hope through to Princeton, Penticton, past trail, to the crow's nest and out to the plain. From Hope through to Princeton, Penticton, past trail, to the crow's nest and out to the plain. <laughs> oh, yeah, Thanks to Paul.
It's me again. <laughs> Music can name the unnameable. And it can do the other part, that part I can't remember. Just by way of introduction, uh, this song was written by George and Irwa Gershwin and was originally introduced uh, to the world by Fred Astaire in the 1937 film Shall We Dance. In that movie, he sang it to Ginger Rogers while they were on a foggy ferry ride from New Jersey to Manhattan, and Ginger just listened in silence. But the version that Don and I are going to perform was inspired by a duet that was recorded by Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong in 1956. This is called They Can't Take That Away From Me.
The way you sip your tea The memory of all that No, no, they can't take that away from me The way you smile just beats The way you sing off key The way you haunt my dreams No, no, they can't take that away from me The way we dance till three The way you changed my life No, no, they, they can't, can't take, take that, that away from, from me No, no they, they can't take that away from me thought that strange thing might appear again, so I guess he's not going to. <laughs> Whew, that's right. Now the most exciting event you've been waiting for, the draw. Get your tickets out. And show the picture. The ticket for this painting, huh? You draw. This is you the draw. draw the okay, says I get to draw. All right. The winning number is? 5076330. Five zero seven six three three eight. We have a winner. <laughs> Come on up. Okay, and then I think we're to sit down. Now. And now, please focus your attention on the screen. sign, but the original artwork was done by Ariane Carmichael, and uh, 
It was fantastic. So let's give her another round of applause, shall we? And now please focus your attention on the screen. Gee, I can't wait. Oh, hey, come on in. Come on in. Hey, Donna. Hey, Donna. Hey, everyone. Oh, golly, you know. Oh, I know. I'm so nervous. You know, I got kicked out of choir when I was in grade two. Yeah, the but community why? Choir. What did you do? I, I didn't sing very well. Oh, I So I don't know what I'm doing you, here. You punch someone in. No, I don't do that. Oh. Okay, no. let's no. get this going. Thanks okay. for coming oh. to SVUC. He's got talent auditions. Yeah. Super. Hey, super. Okay. Hey. Oh, I'm very nervous. Uh, very nervous. Very I, nervous. She's making oh, us audition. So nervous. Just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. <sighs> you can kind of do this, you know. I think, I think you oh, should go yeah. first. Excellent. Okay, okay let's keep yeah. moving here. Okay, we've got, I'll, a, I'll we've go. got a few I'll people go. to she's audition. Go I'll go first. Um, okay, well, I was just going to say I'm really excited to, that you're participating. And you, so, Melanie, you're diving in head first. I am. So, where do you want me to stand? Um, this here, you good? know what? Over here would be great. Oh, right up there. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. Um, Can you see me over what, the sign? Well, yeah, I think. I okay, think good. So, what would you like to sing? Um, come what may. From oh, Moulin come Rouge. what may. That sounds yeah. good to me. What what key would you like it in? I don't know. Just pick one. It's oh. okay. I, I'm good. Okay. Okay, I don't have perfect pitch, so we're good. Okay, just jump in. Okay. Okay. I'll give you uh, three bars. Three bars. Never knew I could feel like this. Like I've never seen the sky before. Here anymore. Thank you so much. That you are definitely in. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Wow, that was terrific. Okay. So who's up next? Vicky. I am. Vicky. Oh, yeah. Vicky. Okay, Vicky. It's what a pretty hard you, act to follow. What would you? Oh no. I'm really Not nervous, Donna. You know, like, like, I just my tummy feels funny. Hey. Just relax. Okay. Just relax. What would you uh, like to sing today? Well, I think I should sing my favorite hymn, like a pil or we are pilgrims. <laughs> like a Not pilgrim. like a, like a prayer. I think I need a prayer. No, let's we go are with pilgrims. we are Is pilgrims. Is that the one? Yeah. Yeah. Voices okay. United 595. Oh, okay. Okay. You know what? I know it off by heart. Excellent. No problem. Okay. Pilgrims on a journey. Hey, hold it a second. What? I've got a bit of an issue with your audition. What are you talking about? Well, that's not you singing. What? Are... Donna, of course it's me singing. Look at you're way over there. I'm all the way over here. I, I just don't know what to tell you. It's I'm me. Not, I'm not. I'm not impressed. Can well, we do? Can we do this again? Please? Absolutely, Thank we you. could. Thank all right. We are pilgrims on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Give me strength. Okay, well, fine, fine. No problem, uh, Reverend Vicki. Uh, I guess we'll make it work. Okay. Okay, wow. These auditions are exhausting. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, hey, Brad. Not me, no. Not Brad, right I'm, no. I'm very excited to hear you, and I, I hope your audition is a little more hmm, successful in some ways than others. Um, but before you audition, I really wanted to let you know that I actually have uh, Linka on video on uh, Zoom, ready to start, okay? Yeah, and, I'm ready. Oh, okay. Hey, Elenka, perfect. Uh, what would you I, like to I was to thinking sing? about A Groovy Kind of Love by oh. Phil Collins. Do you know that one? Oh, do I know it? I'll play a few bars, then you jump in, okay? When I'm feeling blue, all I have to do is 
just take a look at you. Alinka? Donna? Oh my gosh, okay, you know. How would you know? You sit so far away from me all the time. You've never heard me sing. Well, I don't know what you sound like, but I certainly know that voice. It's very familiar. What do you want me to tell you? Well, it's me. Well, yeah, right. One more try. One more try. Oh, she's... When I'm feeling blue... <laughs> wow, you got oh, ahead of me there. Do, do. Let's take a look at you. Okay, wow. Okay, well, I've just about had it. See you at the show. Okay, Linka, we'll see you at the show. Well, you know, Donna, like I just have to say, after teaching like a million lessons on Zoom, the, the delay just causes problems, Donna. That's all it is, is that what sound is that delay voice? on Zoom. Where is that coming from? Oh, just me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, Brad. Okay, I'm really nervous here. Uh, Let's see here, Brad. Um, um, I'm thinking I want what do it you that think, way. What are you thinking? Last but not least, but, you know, let's hear what you have to offer. What would you like to say? I would like to do I want it that way. I oh, think I can do oh, that one. Wow. That is fabulous. Mm. I love that piece. Mm. I love that piece. Finally, someone who really knows what they're doing. Okay. Are you ready, Brad? Yeah. Yeah. I'm great. You know? Yeah. Mm. I understand you've done quite a bit of singing before. Yeah. Some, yeah. Yeah, good, excellent. I am so done with these auditions. After what just happened to Donna, I'm starting to question a few things around here. Do we really have Shakespeare Jr. in our midst, or am I hearing things? Well, you do know what they say about things working mysteriously. Let's just enjoy the second half and not worry about a thing. Yes, as Jay said, there are strange things done under the midnight sun. This song is called My Grandfather's Clock, and it was sung to me by my father as I was growing up, and now I'd like to sing it for you. My grandfather's clock was too large for the shelf, so it stood 90 years on the floor. It was taller by half than the old man himself, yet it weighed not a penny weight more. It was bought on the morn of the day that he was born, and was always his treasure and pride. But it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. 
Ninety years without slumbering His life seconds numbering But it stopped short Never to go again When the old man died My grandfather said That of those he could hire Not a servant so faithful he found For it wasted no time And had but one desire At the close of each week to be wound Yet it stood in its place Not a frown upon its face And its hands never hung by its side But it stopped short Never to go again When the old man died It rang an alarm In the dead of the night An alarm that for years had been dumb And we knew that his spirit was winging for flight That his hour for departure had come Though the clock kept a chime with a soft and gentle rhyme As we silently stood by his side But it stopped short Never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering. His life seconds numbering. But it stopped short. Never to go again when the old man died. My name is April, and I'm going to be singing The Rose. Some say love, it is river that drowns the tender reed. Some say love. And you think that love is 
is only for the lucky and the strong. Just remember in the winter, far beneath the bitter snow, lies the sea. Without music, life would be a mistake. Hi, I'm Amaya. And I'm Thomas. And we're from Cochrane High School, and today we are performing The Devil Went Down to Georgia by Charlie Daniels. Um, it's like our own rendition, kind of, so please enjoy. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
little finish, Johnny said, well, you're pretty good, old son. But sit down in that seat right there. Let me show you how it's done. I'm really happy to have invited my cousin Diane to sing with me today. And I'm especially grateful to Simons Valley United Church because this place is what brought us together. This is where we discovered each other. So it's a long story. I won't tell you right now. <laughs> like a resting place, a shelter from the storm. It exists to give you comfort, it's there to keep you warm. And in those times of trouble, when you are most alone, the memory of love will bring you home. Perhaps love is like a window, perhaps an open door it invites you to come closer it wants to show you more and even if you lose yourself and don't know what to do the memory of love will see you through perhaps love is like a window perhaps an open door he didn't. Sorry, I missed that up. <laughs> you want to go back to there? Yes. Love? Oh, love to some is like a cloud, to some as strong as steel. For some, a way of living, and some, a way to feel. And some say love is holding on, and some say letting go. Some say love is like a thing, some say. Love is like the ocean, full of conflict, full of change. Like a fire when it's cold, I'll 
outside and thunder when it rains. If I should live forever and all my dreams come true, my memories of love will be of you. Some say love is holding on, and some say letting go, and some say love is everything, and some say they don't know. Perhaps love is like a mountain, full of conflict, full of change, like a fire when it's cold outside. Thunder when it rains If I should live forever And all my dreams come true My memories of love will be of you My memories of love
Shakespeare Jr., life is not the only thing that seems to be going on and on, because the next part is a test. If the next part sounds familiar, you pass. <laughs> he does make an interesting point. Simons Valley United Church services are always filled with music, and it does seem like week after week, and time after time today, um, Vicki, Alinka, Donna, and Melanie go on and on with ease. Yes, after witnessing their audition process, I'm happy that Justine and Essie are on to monitor a few things. I haven't quite figured out how to Brad fit into that thing. However, it's time to listen to a few more performances. The talent this half has been just as wonderful as the first, of course. Thank you to all the performers for blessing us with their gifts. And thank you all for putting up with our a little bit of a hitch earlier, but before we begin the next set of performers, I do want to thank all of you here today to support our Simons Valley United Church Talent Show Fundraiser. Much appreciated. Didn't 
know which stars to thank. And then he asked one day if I would be his wife. And I looked up, and all that I could think of was the life I had dreamt I might live. And I said to him, what will you give? I'll give you cars and a townhouse in Turtle Bay and a fur and a diamond ring. And we'll be married in Spain on my yacht today and we'll honeymoon in Beijing. And you'll meet stars at the parties all through at my villas in Nice and Paris in June. And I thought, okay. And I took a breath and I got my yacht. And the years went by, and it never changed, and it never grew, and I never dreamed. And I woke one day, and I looked around, and I thought, my God, I'll never have the Sure. 
just like every child needs to find a place guide us with your grace give us faith so
we will be doing The Last Goodbye, which is from the movie The Hobbit, for those of you who might recognize it. I saw the light fade from the sky on the wind I heard a sigh as the snowflakes covered my fallen brothers I will say this last goodbye night is now falling so ends this
Afternoon. I want to first of all thank the audience for missing part of the Super Bowl. Um, I just want to say thank you to Donna because I, I just think the world of Donna. And Donna usually comes up with a list. No but list. No I list. I didn't tell her we were doing this, so there's no list. But, yeah, go ahead. I, I'm very lucky to work with Melanie, and believe me, we, we both ran our own directions on this today, and it was really wonderful to actually work as a team on it. But we have a bigger team, which was everybody that contributed. So many people contributed that you can't even see that were contributing, including, you know, right from the communications out about all of this, right, to all the participation and behind the scenes in AV. And I see I'm not supposed to list. And hospitality, you know, so many things. And it wouldn't... <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for coming. It's been a wonderful celebration. and. Yes. Just what we hoped. Before we get going too far. Wow. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, my name is Leanne Jonason, and I am the interim chair of Simons Valley United Church. And on behalf of the board, we would like to thank Donna and Melanie for the many, many hours that it takes to put together a talent show. Apparently, this is before my time at Simons Valley. We used to do talent shows quite often, every two years. And I think it went far too long in between. How about you? So on behalf of the board, to everyone that performed, thank you so very much for your talents, it was outstanding. But it does take a lot of time, a lot of talent and dedication to put this together. And Donna and Melanie really spearheaded everything. And we had 
prior to the doors opening today and having a number of individuals purchase tickets at the door, we had sold $2,200 worth of tickets. Thank you so very much. So I do have two bundles of flowers that the ladies will take home, one each, and a card here. So thank you so much for everything that you do for this church and for putting on such a wonderfully blessed show. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Okay, in the list that I didn't make, let's just give a big thanks to our MCs, please, Kay and Bob, and also to the junior bard in the back in the AV booth. So to conclude the afternoon, I really just want to say thank you to everyone for making this event happen. That means all of you in the seats as well. So thank you. And I would just like to get all of the performers to come and join the choir. Bring your program that you got because it's got the words and we're all gonna sing. We're all gonna sing. What was the name of that song again? All You Need Is Love. No, I'm just kidding. And I'd love the audience stand as you are able because I'm sure you will be able to come up with some of those words and sing along with us. So I would really just love everybody in this entire room singing because all you need is love. So those of you who have performed, come up and join us. You can go along the sides of the risers wherever you can fit and just, yeah, join us. Thank you. Yeah.